Hi guys, so I'm here making my Google Sites for helping you to create yours too. So, what do we do? First of all, you make your, your own Google account. As you can see, I'm in mine. So now you go to create. Here you can choose how your site will look like and name it and all that. So usually you need to choose black template because that's the easy one to control because then you don't need to, ch to change all this stuff. And then you need to name your site. So basically the name and here it's gonna the site location is just gonna put the name unless the name is already been used. So just put in like numbers and stuff like that. And then you need to add your theme. Your theme is basically how it's like the background of your site. And that's like what you use. And then like more options, don't really need to know about them. And then you just need to put inside some uh, a random word a word that just will make you go in so after you create that's like my online profile so here I got several kinds of web pages so that's the like the home page so here you can see that's my online profile Hi. and here you can see my YouTube account my YouTube of course that you're watching it now and a little bit like about me like a short paragraph about me um and then my contact so if you need any help with videos and if you want to make me new videos about other stuff except just the google sites or other things so just contact me through here put new posts and please guys you can make new posts you can comment on other people posts just just for, don't forget that it's only for help you only for helping you guys to create your your best google site and to help you become the best not the best but can make you be make you be better so this is one kind of page that you can create so let's go to create a new page okay now that, that that's called dummy site two one two that's my site so now I can choose announcements or list or file coming or web page I'll go for f list this time and I will call it um YouTube list So now I go and I press create. Now my page has been created. So let's see. Okay, so you see, now it told me get started creating a list using one of your list templates or create your own. So uh, let's go with action items. I don't know really how do you, I don't really know about them. So you see now it's like let's add some items. So it's basically more of like you want to sell things so you can own you can say who's the owner what is description resolution and complete so it's basically like if it's complete you can tell no you can't so like my youtube list so that's me i'll put my name description um song theme song A resolution, uh, I think it's 3200p, right? And complete. So now I press save, and here it is. One of my, one of my things. So through here you can like comment, and you can like see what kind of videos do I have. And sometimes I will make videos with my friends, and I will put them on. Okay. Another thing you can do with the you with Google Sites, you can use Google Documents, and you can modify a form or something. So that's my like one form I, I made. So that's called poll number one. So what do I do now with it? Okay, I made a poll. How do I put it in? I go for edit page, loading the editor bar, and then I go down to where I want to put it in. I press it insert. Now it's gonna ask me what do you want to put inside. So let's go with spreadsheet form. And then it's gonna show me what what I have, like what kind of what types of polls or documents I have in my Google Docs. So you see only one for now because if I don't open other stuff, so I'll press on it. I press select. Now you want to include title? No, border? No, because you don't want to usually have it. So that's it. And then it the, don't touch the wood. Then it's gonna be like this. That's how it looks like. So now when you press save, 
that's how it will look like for some reason okay so it doesn't look good right so what do we need to do we need to say going to go here okay so if we will include a, a border around I think it will make it better see no because it's still in black well so usually don't put like a black background yeah don't put a back black background like me change it I wanna know if I can change I wanna know if I can change the color I think I can I don't I don't know if I can change it. I don't really use it a lot so for now I won't I don't I won't touch it until I find out so basically that's how you put a spreadsheet or something else so it's really easy to use when you know how to use Google doc when you know, use Google sites so guys really and if you want to delete the site that you don't be like okay and now I'm gonna delete this one because I don't think I need it so I will go delete page you can ask me do you want to delete this item I'm gonna just say delete and this page will be deleted in no time like it was never existed I'm going to set announcements because I got my contact so now I'll go to delete page again and I will delete it so if you want guys I'll and if I will work with my friends so we will put more and more videos and you could see staff members and I will put it more friend my friends that will help me okay one more thing before I go that's called the manage site it's basically tell you who is the owner it's public for other people to view and st stuff like that so you can go to site layout and you can like look page contact and sidebar and you can like change things and you can change how it look like let's go to change logo and here on like there's a site and then you can custom a logo of your choice I don't know really what logo will you guys use but that's basically it and it would will look like on it will look on the page there's a site called banner creator or logo creator so go to logo logo creator and okay so now you got a logo creator so you go to the logo creator dot com so it will tell you to something to download so don't use it don't download there's sites that's gonna give it to you like not as a site uh, but as just you see online logo maker so always look for an online site because like these are the best sites you can use and uh, you see now it's gonna tell me first choose your image so I'm going I'm going through this one so it's loading let's go we're in kind of uh, we're in kind of education somehow now I need to choose my symbol so I will choose a symbol that I think is the best for me and for my site so as you can see now I will scroll all over and I will try to find the best logo that I can find for my site so let's go and put on oh uh, I don't know let's go for, with this one okay so now I choose this one and now I'm gonna name so now I need to name it so basically let's wait so first line um let's see So as you can see, that's like how I name it. And then you can app, and then you can do another another line, but it's not really you can you don't have to. And you can change the symbol. So if you don't like your, the symbol that you chose, you can always change back and do whatever you want with it. So let's go like industry. Let's go and find something a little bit else. I'll go with engineering. Let's see what I can find there. So I'll go with this one. I think it's like the best for what we're doing here. And now I want to make it bigger, so now I'm going for layout. So now I want to make this size bigger. I want to make it bigger. I want to. I want to look like this and this. I want to change 
to something more like blue and then it will look like this and I wanna put it like bigger so if you use like this you see let's go a little bit like this oh yeah that's good so let's go let's look at this okay now it's gonna tell you to buy so if you use Mac what you can do you can press command shift 4 and then you can just screenshot your photo that's like the best but let's go and see if if I put next gonna put like a original logo yeah that's how it looks like so now I just go I'll do like screenshot I'll screenshot my picture here's my logo okay I got my logo now so I will go here and I will change my logo to cut my custom logo choose file I will go to my desktop and here it is screenshot so now let's go to OK press OK um, now we'll save it and out if I go now to my site where is it? where is it uh, give me a second here guys I will fix it in a second um, so basically you can use logo creator uh, dot uh, logo logoyes.com logo creator dot php that's basically the best way to create your logos for your sites and I will also put it on my site so you can see there are a lot of kinds of logos you can create with them these are kinda good when you think about them so let's go to again to my site layout I will change my logo to this I press ok Just a second. I want to see now. Um, let's see if I will save it. Then I will could see my logo. Oh yeah, here now I have my logo up here, and you guys can know how to make your own logos, and you can upload them. So if you need, if you guys need more help, so you know how to contact me. So. Just go here. I will have it on my on my channel. I will have this site. So you guys can go in and contact me and give your opinion about my, my site. So guys, have fun and create your site. That was my tutorial about Google Sites. Have fun.